Well, <coughs> yo, I'm Kono. For those who are not familiar with me, I'm a plush tuber. I've been here for around six years now. I know that sounds shocking to people that are familiar with me. You'll probably be like, hey, Kono, you started in 2022 using your old channel's data. Well, in the young days, I was also a fan of SML. Well, obviously. But what really got me into making videos was the side of the FNAF plush community. But this video is about the Sonic side of the community. So I won't talk about this much more. But as you can tell, I have my fair bit of experience in the plush genre. Alright, let's get my yapping over with. Let's dig deep with this video. X Halo. So I think everyone here knows who Larry is. He's a friend of mine and a big inspiration to me in this community. You guys will know his X Halo account made on August 20th, 2016. But a few months before, he made his very first channel on January 13th, 2016, which he made the original version of the Sonic Plus show which I'm sure everyone has watched by now. This show is a product of ambition and passion, which made, in my opinion, the best Sonic Plush show ever. But it was not always easy for x -Halo. It's been quite a rocky road for him. But throughout everything bad x has been through, he's always tanked through it to make content for us, which I find very inspiring. Even after losing his first channel, and probably much more stuff happening, he's still here making content for us. He's the reason I came back. He showed me, even through dark times, you can always get back on your feet and thrive. And I respect him with everything I got for that. TSPS is probably, in my opinion, the best show we've ever gotten from this Sonic Plush community. And everyone needs to watch it. His influence has been massive. Many people started making their own stories after watching him, really bringing one of the best eras of plush tube in ever. And I want to thank Larry for everything he's done for me and many others. Supersonic Blake. Supersonic Blake is more of a comical YouTuber, like SML. But I do very much respect him. From any of my interactions with him, he's a very down to earth and respectful guy. And he's made a big name for the Sonic Push community and worked very hard over his eight years on this platform. And I'm sure he needs a mention. So thanks for everything, Blake. Spin Dash Pro. Now, Spin Dash Pro. Everyone knows who Spin Dash Pro is. Now, I never really watched his videos and do not know much about him, to be honest. But I do know he paved the way for this community, so he obviously needs a mention here. So thank you, Spin Dash Pro, for everything you've done. Fake Gang. Well, let's talk about the part of the community I'm in. Me and some of my friends were in this old group called Fake Gang that has sadly disbanded after inside problems with a few members, but I've made very close friends in that group. And I'd say we've inspired many underground plush tubers to keep going due to how small we were back then, but we were still catching big creators eyes. And in 2021, for a few months, Fake Gang was the only group that was posting on the story side of things, always consistently uploading throughout all of our members back then, which gave people hope for the plush community. Now, on to the members. Uh, Ovno. Such as Ovno, one of my closest friends in the community. He's a pretty small YouTuber with like, Two subscribers but yeah you know you know so I've definitely been helping him out a little bit 
Definitely not the other way around. Jokes aside, Avno has been a great help to my channel and a very trustworthy friend. Thank you for everything you do, Avno. Inspiring many people to make content and just being a huge help to everyone. Jackie Chan the Plushy Man. Jackie Chan the Plushy Man. This guy has been so helpful to me and just so nice. We might not talk as much anymore, but this guy has been such a help to me. Helping me get all the plushes I've gotten for my show. And definitely inspiring a bunch of people with his old show, Sonic Plush Journeys. That was amazing. Thank you for everything you do, Jackie Chan the Plushy Man. We all love and appreciate you. Blazing Blue. Blue was the guy that added me to Fake Game and has stayed close to me ever since, even through dark times, and introduced me to all my closest friends today, and helped with my old channel when it was dead. And Blue is an amazing plush tuber, inspiring a bunch of people with his show, Sonic Plush Unlimited. Thank you, Blue, for what you've done for this community. Now, I know you might think, Koto, why are you talking all about all these guys? and not getting into the rise of the plush community. In my opinion, these guys are the people that caused the rise of the plush community. 2020 to 2021 was the most popular part of the plush community. With the Sonic movie releasing, and many plush tubers being very consistent with their uploads. It was a very good time in the community, I must say. Now, let's get into the fall. Now, with the fall of the community, in my opinion, the fall was sort of due to the community itself, and the rise of the Sonic boys, and the whole Larry copy joke. It really demotivated a lot of creators, and even made people not want to watch people that created my type of content. And the community started to favor more SML type videos. The cash grab videos with no work and effort. That era really messed with me and made me feel like I didn't deserve any likes or views or subscribers. It made me think I have to make something quote unquote original to be popular or be big. Even though my content was original, it was my content. But I didn't see that. I only saw the way to be popular was to be quote unquote original. That's where Sonic Cobalt was made on my old channel. I had no fun with the show at all. It ruined me. It led to the death of my channel. So I just said if I can't make the content I want without being respected, I was going to quit and live my life. So, I left my dreams behind me. Which many other creators did as well. Until one day, I came back to talk to some of my friends. And realized the community ended up ruining itself. With all of this nonsense. And I realized I couldn't let this community die. I worked so hard with Fake Gang to keep this community alive two years ago. And I said, I'm coming back and making it known who I am. I will bring this community back and make it better than ever. So if you guys want to bring this community back, go make that plush video or show you wanted to make. You have your own fun. You create what you want. And if you want to get serious about it, soon I'll be releasing a Discord server called The Plush Nation. It's a project that will help underground creators make their best work. And get out there, show the community who you are. This is where we make the step to make us a community again. And let's make this step to make the community again. I love and appreciate y'all. Well, everyone, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm not the best with these type of videos, but I tried my hardest. 
but you all should like and subscribe and help me bring a new era to this community. Let's bring it back together, guys.